In this short video we're going to show you how you can do some things to make your labels a little bit fancier um, like this one that is bigger and green using the Pango markup language. Okay so let's change our labels. So this is the normal way of making a label and this is the same program we had in lesson four. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to do it now using um, Pango Text Attribute Markup Language. I'll actually give a link to that in the description below that lets you see what that is. But effectively it lets us do something similar to HTML within our tags. So um, what I've done here, I've just um, created a label but I've kept it empty. And then what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do um, self.label dot set markup. Now what that does is that enables us to use the um, Pango uh, markup language and then I'm just going to put my text message in here. So this first one um, I'm going to keep the same message we had before but I'm just going to make the text bold and because I did this it lets me use um, these tags like this. So where um, is everyone and in fact um, I can do more than that let's just finish this one off actually maybe I want everyone to be italic so I can um, embed um, tags within other tags as well so at this stage now we do have um, this it will be shown differently but um, what about this one here we've got this as a set text as well well clearly what we want to do is we want to actually um, do use markup text so I'm going to change that one now to set markup text but I'm sure we can do a little bit more there what I'm going to do is I'm and this is an important one really because I think the documentation that I'm going to give you and um, the link to part of it's wrong. So I'm going to span here. We'll actually put what we're going to span in there just now. Oops, not going to spam it. Um, so I'm going to span there. And obviously the thing we want to write is here we are. Let's just put it here. And for now that will do. So let's put in here some other attributes that we want to do. So I'm going to do um, foreground. Now the example that it gives you in the link the, um, to the official documentation it actually does this and that looks fine. The only trouble is if you do use double quotes it doesn't work. It must be single quotes and you can use all your normal colors your blues, your whites, your reds and so on. Um, but we can also use RGB as well. So single quote don't forget. Put our hash symbol in and I'm going to go for this nice green that um, I found a little bit earlier while doing this. Um, one two eight might be a little light and um, light but there we go I also want to change this size so I'm going to make the size um, equals and again they use double quotes and it doesn't work it's got to be single quotes and do extra um, large so that's all we're doing in this video um, we're showing how we can use these things you can do more things as well the later on in a later video we're actually going to be making up our own labels because there are restrictions with the labels that you get and the fact that these are transparent anyway let's see how this works and let's do our normal bit here we want number five and let's get our button and let's move this out. So look, it's um, bold because we made it bold and everyone's italic. We click on blue and we can see certainly bigger. It's extra large. You can set font size as well. And it's in that nice green that I tried to get um, with those RGB numbers. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, all the code that was used in the video will be supplied below. Stay in infield with Winfield.